horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Well, tell him, did you see the Padre? Uh, I may see him, Kimizami. Good. Well, I hope he's feeling better. Him feel fine now, but... Uh, was something wrong? Uh, him worried over letter from friend in Parkersburg. Did he say what was in the letter? Uh, Padre wants you read for yourself. And signed Frank Russell. Uh, Russell, sheriff in Parkersburg. Yes, I remember now. I've heard some fine reports about him. Well, my dear Padre, you've often told me to write you whenever I had a problem I couldn't solve. Well, I have such a problem that may be too big for your mask friend. Well, as you know, Parkersburg has always been a law-abiding town. Recently, however, two outlaw brothers have been terrorizing the entire area. Their names are Jack and Ray Miles. Miles? We captured them a year ago, Kimasabi. Send them to prison. Apparently, they escaped, Tano. Listen to this. They have a hideout somewhere in the Black Mountains. Uh, that bad country. Plenty hard to track outlaws there. That's what Sheriff Russell has discovered. He says that Parkersburg may turn into a ghost town if the Miles brothers aren't captured soon. There's been a half a dozen murders and countless holdups. We go to Parkersburg? Yes, Tano. We better get started right away. It'll take us at least two days of hard riding to get there. Let's start breaking camp. Howdy, Sheriff. What's this? More posters on the Miles Brothers? Yeah, they just came in on the morning mail. Well, they sure sent them to the right town. Somebody here in Parkersburg would be mighty rich if they caught those two. Uh, money doesn't mean much to frighten men. Nothing means much. Well, you know you can count on me, Sheriff, as long as I'm your deputy. I know, and I appreciate that. But we can't stop the Miles boys without help. We... When did this get here? Oh, I meant to tell you about that letter. It came in with the rest of the mail. I saw it was addressed to you personally, so I... Well, what do you know? Something important? This is from a friend of mine, a padre. I wrote to him a while back asking him for help with his Miles business. Padre? What can he do? Nothing personally. But he knows a fellow, a masked man. He says he's heard the masked man is in his area and he's promised to show him my letter as soon as possible. He says he's sure the masked man can give me all the help I need. Oh, I don't get this. You planning on throwing in with an outlaw? This fellow's no outlaw, Waters. He's the Lone Ranger. The... Oh, that's great. Uh, I've heard a lot about the Lone Ranger. Well, if anybody can stop the Miles Brothers, he can. Yeah. It's almost noon. I'm getting hungry. I think I'll knock off for a while. Sure. I'll be back around 2. All right. Fifteen thousand even. Not bad for six months' work. Not bad at all. Uh, Fifteen thousand in cash. I got twice that in gold. About another month, Ray, and we got. Somebody's on the trail. Check on it. Relax, it's waters. Buck Waters, the protector of the people. All right, lay off. I've got some news for you. Do you want to hear it or don't you? That's what we pay you for. Let's have it. The Lone Ranger's coming to Parkersburg. The Lone Ranger? Are you sure? Sheriff Russell wrote to a friend of his asking for help. He said he'd pass the letter on to the Lone Ranger. I told you we should have gotten rid of that sheriff a long time ago. Uh, Look, I've heard a lot about this Lone Ranger, Jack. Believe me, he's poison. If you're thinking of tangling with him, you, you know, Waters, you know, I might be thinking of just exactly that. Are you out of your mind? That character in his Indian pal outsmarted us once. Who says they can't do it again? I say they can. You know, I've been waiting for over a year to catch up with those two, and if you think I'm going to pass a chance like this, you're crazy. Jack, listen, they're bound to find this camp sooner or later. Mm-hmm. And the sooner the better. What? Well, look around you. This place is a fortress. The only way up to this mesa is that old Indian trail. We can see anybody coming up, and they can't see us. Now, the minute that masked man and his Indian friend come around that bend there, they're dead. 
What makes you think they'll ever round that bend? Maybe you're planning on sending them an engraved invitation. Maybe. Why don't you talk sense? The trouble with you, Ray, is that you don't know sense when you hear it. Now listen, the Lone Ranger likes to work with the law, right? Yeah. All right. Now supposing the law was to tell him he could take the Miles brothers by surprise if, if he was to come up that trail. And we'll be waiting for him. You know, it might work at that. Now I know you're both crazy. In Parkersburg, the law happens to be Sheriff Russell. You think for five minutes that... No, who said Russell... anything about Russell? You know, Waters, I got a feeling that by tomorrow morning, you will be the law in Parkersburg. See, Ray was right. We should have got rid of Russell a long time ago. Look, if you're planning deliberate murder, count me out. Count you out? <laughs> well, aren't you the little angel now? You know, I can't recall you ever objecting to murder before. Look, what you two guys do on your own is your own business. It's none of mine. But, well, if, you, if somebody puts up a fight and you have to kill him, well, that's too bad. But don't let me know about it. I'm no murderer. Waters, when Ray and I come here, we made a bargain with you. Yeah, and I've kept my end of it. I've tipped you off on gold shipments. I covered your trail. Yeah, and you've been paid for it. Now, you're a partner, Waters. Now, now, don't ask us to cut you out at this late date. We might really do it. Now, where's Russell now? He's at home, eating dinner. Now, listen. In about five minutes, Ray and I are going to ride into the outskirts of town. We'll catch Russell when he comes out of his house. Now, when this lone ranger hits Parkersburg, he's going to come to you for advice. You tell him that he'll find us at the end of this trail. Now, you get him to come at night, and one of us will be on guard all the time. Is that clear? That's clear. Right. Hey, Waters. One thing more. You better stick around with an earshot of that Russell place. You know, somebody might see us do the job and uh, want to take out after us right then. Now, if they do, you... You be a big posse leader and say, lead them the wrong way. You're good at that. I'll offer one penny, no more. Hmm? For your thoughts. I don't suppose they're worth a penny. I was thinking about the Miles Brothers. The Tolliver family left town this morning. They're going back east. Is that so? Mr. and Mrs. Curtis told me they were planning to move, too. Frank, try to look at it from their point of view. With all these murders and robberies, people can't afford to stay in Parkersburg. If only they'd stand and fight. Fight against what? Two men who strike without any warning and then disappear like a pair of ghosts? Oh, there are hundreds of trails in the Black Mountains. Thousands of places where they might hide. They won't be able to hide much longer. The masked man will be here soon. You have a lot of faith in him, haven't a you? A lot of faith. There isn't a crook living who could get the best of him and his Indian pal. What's the matter, Ella? I don't know. I... I felt a chill. Well, maybe I'd better drive you into town to see the dark. No, I'll be all right. It's just... Oh, nothing. Well, i better be heading for the office, I guess. Oh, Frank. Now, honey, don't worry. As soon as the masked man gets here, we'll put those two polecats behind bars, and then everything will be all right. That tunnel. Let's go. Let's go. He's finished. Frank! Oh, Frank! We heard the shots. Is he hurt badly? The masked man. Are you Sheriff Russell? Yeah. The Miles brothers shot me. They got away. I'm glad you're here. My Indian friend will help you take him to a doctor as soon as he bandages the wound. I'll go after those two. Hold it right there. 
Put up your hands. Mr. Waters, you don't understand. Put your gun away, Waters. These are the men I told you about. Then you're the Lone Ranger? That's right. I'm sorry, mister. I heard a commotion and I thought that... Well, I understand, Deputy. But there's no time to waste. I'd better get after the two men who staged this ambush. If you do, you'll be the bravest man who ever came to Parkersburg. My husband's asked everyone to help him find the Miles Brothers. Bravery's but... got nothing to do with it, Miss Russell, and you know that. They've had us hogtied for months, mister. Even following them now wouldn't do any good. There's half a dozen streams they could cross to cover their trail. Sheriff, still unconscious, Kim Asabi. But him alive. Uh, you have buckboard? Yes, in the back. Oh, Frank. I'll get even with them if it's the last thing I ever do. I swear it. I'll never rest until I see them dead. <laughs> Tell me, Deputy, do you have any clues at all as to where the Miles brothers might be? Just one. Yesterday, an old prospector came into the office. He said he'd passed through the Black Mountains on his way south. He'd uh, seen the Miles camp. Frank didn't tell me about that. Well, he didn't want to worry you. We were going out after him just as soon as the Lone Ranger got here. Did the Miles brothers see the prospector? No, that's the beauty of it. He said he'd uh, stumbled onto the trail that led to the blind side of the camp. Said it'd be easy for somebody to get him by surprise if they crept up on him at night. I see. And where was this trail? Well, you know that area? Some of it. Place called Coyote Pass? Yes. Well, that's where the trail starts. According to the prospector, you follow the trail due west about half a mile. It's hard sledding, but you can make it. Half a mile due west from Coyote Pass. What's that, Miss Russell? Oh, nothing, nothing. As soon as Townley gets the buckboard hitch, we'll take the sheriff to a doctor and go after the Miles brothers tonight. Well, the horses are fed. Good. You know, I can hardly wait for our two little friends to come looking for us. It's going to be like shooting fish in a rain barrel. You suppose they've hit town yet? Maybe. I sure hope Russell's dead. Now, what makes you think he might not be? Well, we didn't check. Yeah. Yeah, you got a point there. Suppose I go in and check now. You thinking of going back there? Uh, it don't hurt to know what's going on around his place. Uh, I don't particularly like the idea of staying here alone. What's the matter with you? You couldn't be safer in your own bed. Got a good-sized river on your right, sheer drop to your left, and a cliff behind you. All you got to do is just keep looking straight ahead. Shoot anything that moves on that trail. Suppose it's you. Yeah, well, don't worry. I'll give you a call long before I hit that bend. Well, okay. Don't stay away all night. Getting dark. I'll be ready to start as soon as Tunnel gets here. I wonder what's keeping him so long at the doctor's. Yeah, maybe Frank. Here he comes. Hey, Kim Sammy. How's Russell? And doctor take bullet out of chest. Sheriff still alive, but doctor say him very near death. Tell everyone leave. Tell wife go home rest. Well, how is she taking it? Uh, not good, Kim Sammy. She make many threats against Miles Brothers. I hope she doesn't try anything foolish. Uh, me tell her come here and uh, talk to you. Come here? We haven't seen her. Uh, she probably went home like the doc suggested. When did she leave the hospital? Uh, maybe an hour ago. An hour ago? We were just at her house and she wasn't there. Uh, she had sheriff's gun, Kimasani. Do you remember how interested she seemed when you told us how to get to the Miles Brothers' hideout? Well, yeah, but she wouldn't go after him alone. Wouldn't she? Come on, tell him. Look, mister, maybe this is all a mistake. Suppose she comes walking in here after we've gone. I certainly hope she does. Well, maybe I'd better stay here, just in case. Good. We'll see you later. You better stay here, boy. I can walk the rest of the way. This Russell horse came us up here, me seeing Barn. He's gone lame. Stone bruise. Apparently, Mrs. Russell went ahead on foot. Will you follow her, came us up here? I'll do that, Tonto. According to Deputy Waters, the Miles Brothers' camp must be close by. You'd better stay here with the horses and keep them quiet. I may do that. I only hope Mrs. Russell isn't walking into a trap. You think maybe Deputy lie? Tano, I didn't say that. But the prospector he mentioned may have been lying or he could have been mistaken. In any case, I won't take chances. Get back! Her hand. 
You shouldn't have come here, Mrs. Russell. I wanted to kill them. Instead of that, you might have been killed. Do you think that would have helped your husband? Well, the bullet just grazed your hand. I want you to go back along the trail to where you left your horse. Tana was there. He'll manage your hand. But what are you going to do? You can't even see the man who shot at me. He's too well hidden. I think I know the way how to draw him into the open. Now, Mrs. Russell, please go. Miles, I've sent the girl back down the trail. Now I'm coming after you. Come ahead, mister. Where's your brother? Where is he? He went to town. On your horse. Thank you. Are you all right, mister? Yes, Mrs. Russell. What happened to other miles by that commissary? Apparently, Jack is in town. Tana, I want you to take this fellow into Parkersburg. Turn him over to Deputy Waters. I'll join you as soon as I've seen Mrs. Russell home safely. And Tano, be on the alert. As long as Jack Miles is free, he's dangerous. Let's go. Now, I move. Get a horse. Oh, it's you, Injun. No need for gun. You got Ray Miles, eh? Uh, Jack Miles not with him at hideout. All right, Injun, you can put your gun away. I'll take over from here. All right, put your hands up. You heard me? Get him up. Thanks, pal. Oh. What are we going to do with him? Nothing yet. His friend is coming here to meet him, and uh, we might want a hostage. Well, you both better keep out of sight. We'll be waiting in the cell block. Thank you for everything, for, for saving my life and... Well, that's all right, Mrs. Russell. After all, I... What is it? Don't turn around. There's someone at the window. I saw the curtain move. What are we going to do? Just pretend that we haven't seen anything. We'll go up to the front door. I'll circle around and try to come up on him from behind. Miss Russell, do you have your key? Oh, yes, right here. Hello, Jack. Come in now, Mrs. Russell. It is Jack Miles. Yes, and you've seen him for the last time. You're on your way to jail, Miles. Your brother's there now. My brother? Did you turn him over to Waters? That's right. What do you know about that? You'd better stay here, Mrs. Russell. On your way. Why doesn't he get here? Here he comes now. He's got Jack with him. Jack! I'll wait till he gets inside till I get a good, clear shot. You better stay in the back. Mister? That's right, Deputy. He tried to ambush me at the Russell house. Why, you? You look out, Kimisabi! <laughs> Deputy Cook, too, Kimisabi! What's that? What's he saying? Hold it! I drop your gun. All right, Ray, come out of that door and get over here with your pals. You all right, Tonto? Me get hands untied now, Kimisabi! Look, mister, you're making a mistake. I was forced to do what I did. You ain't squirming out of this one, Waters. I've got plenty to tell a judge. 
And you'll see one mighty soon. Todd, I want you to go to the doctor. Tell him to come here at once. First check Miles. And I want you to ride to Marysville. Explain what's happened to Marshal Cooper. Ask the Marshal to appoint a temporary sheriff until Frank Russell is well again. And Jack Miles be all right, Kimisari. Bullets only graze temple. What you do now? Well, after the doctor bandages these two, I'm going to see that they're locked into a nice clean cell. Hurry. Oh, darling, Hello. welcome home. Oh, you'd better sit down. Oh, Frank, how does it feel to be home again? It feels mighty wonderful, mister. And we can't thank you enough for what you and Tondo have done. I understand the Miles brothers and Deputy Waters have been taken to Marysville for trial. All three of them probably spend rest of lives in prison. You'll be going to Marysville for the trial, I suppose. Yes, Mrs. Russell. If you should see Marshal Cooper again, I wish you'd thank him for me, too. The deputy that he sent did an excellent job while I was in the hospital. I'll do that, Frank. Well, Mrs. Russell, goodbye. Adios. Goodbye. goodbye. They're remarkable men, Frank. Yes, we're mighty lucky to be able to say we're friends of Tonto and the Lone Ranger. <laughs>